In this video, we're going to take a look at Microsoft Clarity and how we can set filters and then actually save those filters as a segment. This means that we don't have to keep applying the same filters every time we're in Clarity and we want to look at the same sort of data. We can actually set that up once, save it, and then quickly jump to it and use the segment at any point. Now, if we go ahead and look at the filters, we can see here that we've got all of these different options available to us. Um, I might want to look and see how things are performing in terms of having any sort of rage clicks or dead clicks. So I want to see if there's any issues. So I want to always look for the last 30 days and maybe I want to only look to see if the device is a PC. And then maybe I also want to see if it's performing how, or how it's performing for a specific browser. So I could go ahead and say Edge. I can then go ahead and say we want to see the insight to rage clicks and dead clicks and then I can go ahead and apply that. So we can see that we have some data. So that's great. That might be something that I want to monitor and check every so often to see exactly what's going on, like I said, with this specific set of filters criteria. Now what we've got is an option at the top where we can save this as a segment. So if I go ahead and click that, if this has already existed, we could update it, but this is a brand new one, so I'm going to do save as new. And then I want to give it a name that makes sense so that if there's anybody else using this, they'd be able to see it and know what it's for. It shows the filters that I've selected, but I'm going to go ahead and do this with um, uh, negative insights because I'm looking for those rage clicks and those dead clicks. And I'm going to say edge browser oh, last 30 days. So I'm going to call it whatever I like and I'm going to go ahead and save that. So now my segment has been saved. I can then find it by clicking on this drop down. So this is then going to start saving all of those segments that I create so I can immediately get back to that. So I can clear out what I've got here, go back to my default for the last three days where I'm seeing everything. And then I can go ahead and click on segments and I can just click on that one and it will automatically apply all of those filters for me. This is a great feature in Microsoft Clarity. It's going to hopefully save people a lot of time. Like I said, consider the things that you're looking at on a daily, weekly, monthly, whatever that basis might be and go ahead, apply your filters and then go ahead and save those filters as a segment so you don't have to do it again. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think that this is going to be something that will be useful for you? Will you go ahead and start actually applying these? Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.